I'm Jerry Mitchellark, professional shooter for Team Smith & Wesson, and I'd like to show you the new Smith & Wesson M&P 15T rifle. Some of the features of this rifle, it comes with a six position adjustable buttstock. Forward of that, it has the Magpul M-Bus flip-up side assemblies, both front and rear. Going down from there, it comes with the integral forged trigger guard. The handguard assembly is a 13 inch free floating M&P Slim handguard with M-Lock capability. It ships with a two inch section of M-Lock rail, so if you want to attach a vertical grip or a siding assembly, you can do that. The barrel is a lightweight contour. It's a 16 inch barrel, comes with a mid-length gas system. It's chambered in 5.56 NATO with 5-all rifling and a twist in 8, so it accepts the lightest bullet onto the heaviest bullet. It also has an armor knight finish both interior and exterior for wear resistance and also corrosion resistance. The barrel assembly is topped off with Smith & Wesson's proprietary flash suppressor. It also offers a mild degree of a muzzle brake. It's all topped off with the Magpul 30-round P-Mag. Imitation is easy, innovation is not. Introducing the Barrett Rec 10. No corners cut, no detail overlooked, and built from the ground up for the world's most demanding users. Every component of the Rec 10 has been engineered to guarantee combat reliability, durability, and accuracy that shooters expect from the Barrett name. Each variant of the Rec 10 features an optimized direct impingement gas system that minimizes recoil and allows for both suppressed and unsuppressed fire. The upper and lower receivers are machined from billet 7075 T6 aluminum and feature ambidextrous controls. The slimline free float aluminum handguard utilizes M-lock accessory mounting slots and a full length Picatinny top rail for sights and electro optics. Available in 308 Winchester and 65 Creedmoor, the Rec 10 stands above all others on the hunt at the range. For A1, the M4A1 is renowned for its durability and its utilization throughout the special operations community over the last 10 years. The DDM 4A1 rifle was designed to withstand the harshest conditions that an end user could throw at it. This is the reason Special Operations Command chose this rifle as its duty rifle. This rifle ships standard with a 14 and a half inch pinned and welded barrel with an extended flash hider, making the overall length of the barrel 16 inches and therefore not an NFA item. The gun also ships with our RIS-2 rail system. In this configuration, you're seeing it in flat dark earth, but you can also get it in black, and then you can also get the entire rifle in mil-spec plus. The reason the RIS-2 is so reliable and durable is number one, it's very, very robustly built. It's a larger rail system than the rest of our lineup and it has a much more robust bolt-up system in the back of the rifle. The rifle is also going to ship with our Gang of Defense rail panels which make for a very comfortable feel on those Picatinny rail sections. Much like the other rifles that we have in our lineup, they're all going to ship with an ambidextrous selector lever. This particular rifle is going to ship with a mil-spec trigger and our new Gang of Defense grip and rip ambidextrous charging handle. I can guarantee you, if you give this weapon a chance, you will not be disappointed in the reliability, durability, and the accuracy. companies out there making semi-auto sporting rifles in the AR style. But how do you improve on an AR? If you're Steyr, you start with the world famous AUG and create a civilian version. If you want Steyr AUG A3. The original bullpup, the AUG takes the same 16 inch barrel found in the AR and recesses it into the stock, leaving you with a rifle that's a good 7 to 9 inches shorter than the typical AR without sacrificing accuracy which makes it perfect for confined positions or clearing a room. As for its modular concept, the AUG can be quickly disassembled into six main component groups without tools. 
The AUG is extremely durable, needing virtually no cleaning or oils, and adaptable to extreme adverse conditions unlike the typical AR that needs regular oiling and maintenance to stay reliably functional. There's a reason over 20 militaries around the world rely on the Steyr AUG. Want a durable, fun to shoot military style semi-auto and don't want the same old cookie cutter AR that all the couch commandos out there have. You want the original Bullpup Steyr AUG A3.